be that change that you want to see in the world. If you see a world that is descending into chaos and disorder and people being dysregulated and not taking responsibility, then be that person who does take responsibility. Be that person who is in control, doing their best to control their emotions, to be reasonable, to be that adult in the room, to be that person who is a counterpoint to that behavior and say no. If you think about the best teachers that you ever had in your education, they weren't the ones who ranted and raved. They weren't the ones who went the other way and just indulged you and let this classroom descend into chaos. They're the ones who came in, who set an example, who every day did their best. And you remember them because they set an example, not the two other polar opposites. And that's, I think, what we all need to be and certainly what I'm trying to be. I think that's the best way to be, to try and be that person, to aspire to that. Mm. It's interesting, a lot of that, it comes back to uh, philosophy. Yeah. But now as, as we move further, we're, we're no longer bystanders. Right. We're in the game now, so yeah. to speak. What we do, who we invite, it sort of, it has a small ripple. It's just a small little ripple, but, but it has that ripple. And we can't pretend to ourselves that there isn't that responsibility on us. And so we're really trying to be better people. We're genuinely trying to, to be constructive as people and as participants in this world that we live in. Yeah. And think about, less about, you know, who is being canceled and who hasn't been allowed this and that, but actually, you know, how do, how do we give opportunities to people? How do we create things? How do, you know, rather than being two comedians who set up a podcast to complain about things that needed addressing, yeah. Yeah. what are we creating exactly? And, and also as well, looking at your own shadow. Because it's very easy to look outwards and point out the flaws in other people and go, this person's like this, this person's like this. Yeah, but what about you? Mm -hmm. What about what you bring to the world? Is it all good? What work are you doing in order to try and keep that shadow under as much control as possible and to deal with it? What work are you doing? It's so important to grow. Yeah. I think that's why so many people are miserable. They're miserable because they don't grow. They enter a, just a period of stasis yeah. where they don't grow, where they don't develop, where they don't improve. Yes. And as a result, they slowly atrophy. Yeah. I think that's a very real problem. Yes, 100%. 100%. Without external pressure, people do atrophy. And we're living longer. Without external pressure, people do atrophy. The world is a more civilized place. Atrophy. Without external pressure, people do atrophy. Stagnation, uh, becoming too comfortable. Because they don't grow. Atrophy. They don't grow.